this is Nicola. Like more than 12 and a half million people in the UK, she's been affected by a neurological disorder. In 2013, I started to get migraines almost weekly, um, which was worrying because that was going on for a couple of months. I was sent for a scan um, and the scan showed up that there was a brain tumour. Nicola was referred to the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery in London that specialises in diseases of the brain, spine and nervous system. I went to see the neurosurgeon, Neil Kitchen, and he confirmed that it was a tumour and it does need to be removed. I did say, however, that it was my cousin's wedding in Greece and that I was bridesmaid and I didn't want to miss it. He did say that I can go, but I need to get the tumour removed when I'm back. We had a great time at the wedding and then I was back at the National for treatment. For her surgery, Nicola was admitted to the Molly Lane Fox Unit, the National's dedicated brain tumour ward the first of its kind, which exists thanks to an amazing charity called the National Brain Appeal. The funding for the Molly Lane Fox, like a whole host of other capital projects in this hospital, is down to our charity, the National Brain Appeal. Having all those patients in one ward means that the physiotherapists, psychologists, the occupational therapists, specialist nurses, and all the various doctors are all concentrated in, in one, one spot, and you get a sort of critical mass of expertise. And so this is the back of uh, Nicola's head, and you can see this round object here, which is pressing on the cerebellum, and this is a meningioma tumour. They had done this a million times before. Everyone who looked after me was great because they understood how scared I was. I essentially make a, an incision on the back of the head and then make a small hole in the skull over where the tumour is and lift the tumour out. So I've got a small dent um, at the back of my head, um, just another reminder of the, of the tumour, um, and that I actually survived it, which was good. Nicola recovered rapidly, and at a follow-up appointment with an occupational therapist, found another way the hospital could help her. Because the tumour wasn't Nicola's first experience of a serious brain disorder. At the age of only 20, she'd suffered a stroke that left her weak in her right side. She mentioned there was a new clinic, which was the upper limb clinic, um, so I signed up. More than 10 years after my stroke, I have found improvements. Being able to work with physios and OTs for five days a week for a full three weeks, I think has helped me massively with improving what I do. Even people who've had stroke many years ago, the brain is still plastic. So if you train people hard enough, they will improve. So we're lucky enough here at the National to get funding from organisations such as the National Brain Appeal to buy equipment that really, um, in the hands of skilled therapists, does make a difference. Nicola, more than anyone, understands the need to raise money for the National Brain Appeal. Going through something like a stroke and having a brain tumour all before I was 30 did put a lot of pressure on me emotionally and mentally. I had great care at the National. There are people out there who are caring and helpful. By supporting the National Brain Appeal, you can help people like Nicola make the best recovery possible. Thank you.